back to my channel and welcome. If you're new here, my name is Jen and I am a certified nutrition coach and currently on the My WW Blue Plan. I have a super fun video for you today. We are going to be taste testing popular energy drinks and energy slash protein bars that you can pick up at GNC. A lot of you reach out and say that you don't always want to buy your product online, even though you enjoy the flexibility of ordering online. Sometimes you just want to go to your local health food store, AKA GNC and pick up some popular, well-known brands of protein and energy bars and energy drinks. So before you go spend your money, I am going to taste test them here for you today and give you my honest opinion on all of them. This is not a sponsored video. I purchased everything with my own money and I was just thinking, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these open energy drinks. We'll figure it out. But I am here today to taste test and give you my honest opinion on popular snacks and energy drinks that you can pick up at your local GNC. So if you are new to my channel, make sure that you are subscribed and your bell is turned on so you don't miss a single video. Thumbs this one up if you love these kind of taste tests. Let me know down in the comments if I should do more of these and if so, what products should I buy and taste test live and give you my honest opinion. And lastly, make sure you are checking out that description box down below where you're going to find my nutrition coaching website so that you can see what would work for you when it comes to nutrition coaching, macros, calorie calculation, or maybe you want to take part in one-on-one -on -one coaching or join my private Facebook group. All those options are on my nutrition website down below. Also our links and discount codes to all of my favorite things and the link to head over and join my Facebook group. So come on over and join us. So let's jump in. I'm hungry. I need some energy. I've got water to sip in between. Let's test out these popular snacks. So I have my water. I'm going to take a sip of water between each energy drink and each bar. I even have some bag snacks, like some chips. So I'll take a sip in between to cleanse my palate so that I can give you that full honest review. So I'm going to go ahead and start today off with energy drinks. We are going to sample several energy drinks that I picked up at my local GNC. The first one is Celsius. Now this is a very popular energy drink in the WW community. So this can has 200 milligrams of caffeine, 10 calories. The ingredients are carbonated filtered water, citric acid, sucralose, AKA Splenda, natural flavor, and beta carotene for color. So I don't love the sucralose and I don't love the natural flavor, but we have a pretty short ingredient list overall. So this is the sparkling orange. Ener healthy energy accelerates metabolism, burns body fat, but with 200 milligrams of caffeine, it probably gives you a little bit of energy. So let's give it a try. I have heard all about these Celsius drinks. That's pretty good. You guys, this is really delicious. It is sweet, but not overly sweet. I definitely get the fizzy orange vibe. It actually reminds me a lot of orange pop, like orange Fanta. That's pretty good. Really, really good. So this would be used as maybe a pre-workout or even during workout. Don't take the claims that it accelerates your metabolism or burns fat because it doesn't, but it would be a great way to get a little extra caffeine and energy. So I would rate the Celsius a nine out of 10. Next is going to be Koyos. And I don't even know, honestly, if I'm pronouncing that right. So this is Koyos Titan of Intelligence. So it has nootropics, electrolytes, coconut MCT oil, and brain support. And this is in the flavor apricot vanilla. So this has 60 milligrams of caffeine from the green tea, naturally sourced caffeine from the green tea that is in this can. So this does have MCT oil, which is great. And it is made with coconut oil. Let's take a look at the ingredients. So we have carbonated water, citric acid, green tea, leaf extract, stevia leaf extract, and natural flavor. So I'm already happier that it has stevia in it. I wish it wasn't stevia leaf extract. I wish it was just stevia, but that's better than sucralose. And again, I don't love that it has natural flavors. So with the minimum amount of caffeine in this, I don't know that this would be 
so much a pre-workout or a during your workout, this might just be a good supplemental beverage to get in some MCT oil and some green tea and get that little boost from the caffeine. So apricot vanilla, here we go. Yum. Oh my gosh. Okay. First of all, if you are not a fan of coconut, you're not going to like this because I immediately get coconut vibes more than I get vanilla vibes. I taste the apricot. I definitely taste coconut. It's milky and creamy. You guys, this is incredible. It is 20 calories, zero smart points. Yeah, this is really, really delicious. Mm, 10 out of 10. Next up is Optimum Nutrition Amino Energy. So this is in the flavor Juicy Strawberry. This says it has 100 milligrams of caffeine from natural sources, five grams of amino acids, electrolytes, and zero sugar. So this is actually an electrolyte beverage. So again, this would even be really good, you guys, post-workout because it's important to rebuild and reintroduce electrolytes once you've sweated all of them out during your workout. So this would actually be really good for that. It only has five calories, so again, is zero points. So this says to drink one can 15 to 30 minutes prior to your workout. So I guess you could use this as a pre-workout as well. Also, in my opinion, as a post-workout due to the electrolytes, it says it supports everyday performance and goals. It gives you electrolytes and supports endurance. That's why you would take it pre-workout to get that little bit of extra endurance. It has a huge list of ingredients, so I'm not going to read them all to you, but it does have sucralose, and it does say that the caffeine is tea leaf and or coffee bean. Interesting. Coffee. Okay, let's try this. Juicy Strawberry Optimum Nutrition. Cheers. This is good. This is really good. Remember how I said coffee interesting? I definitely get that coffee vibe. It's kind of a mix between tasting like coffee and chocolate. I know that that sounds weird, but I get the strawberry. It's kind of a tart strawberry, but it's really good. But on the back of my tongue, I definitely feel that coffee chocolate vibe. It's actually really, really delicious. But I would say if you are not a coffee or chocolate lover, you're not going to like it. I know that that seems weird, but just trust me, at least for me, that is completely the vibe that I'm getting. I don't love that it has sucralose in it. I don't love that it has 8 million ingredients, but it tastes really good. So everything in consideration when I'm rating these ingredients and everything, and points, of course, this also being zero points, I would say... Eight out of 10. Next is the Iso Pure Zero Carb Protein Drink. So this isn't an energy drink, but when I was at GNC, the guy that helped me was so nice. He said, if you're gonna taste test all these energy drinks, try this one. This has 40 grams of protein, you guys, 40. This is a zero carb blue raspberry drinks. It has 40 grams of whey isolate protein. It does have 160 calories, so I'll pop the points here on the screen because it's definitely going to have points, but this is a big bottle. It's 20 ounces. I'm literally, you guys, breaking out the flashlight on my phone to read the ingredient label because it's black. I can't even read it. I can see that there is sucralose in here, natural and artificial flavors, and a blue dye. So obviously, I'm not a big fan of it having blue dye, first of all, but again, 40 grams of protein, 10,240 milligrams of BCAAs. Now I take BCAAs after my workout. So again, I think this would be a good post-workout. It's a great way to get in 40 grams of protein for only 160 calories. It says asparatine, tame, lactose, and gluten-free. We're all more muscle, 100% pure and zero carbs. So if you are someone that watches your carbs, this is a good option for that. I don't love the ingredients, but let's taste it. Cheers. This is horrible. <laughs> Ugh. No. It tastes like milk, but then it has the sour of the blue raspberry. Mm -mm. No. No, sis. This is not good at all. Do not recommend at all. If you want to suck it down literally like this, 
to get in 14 or 40 grams of protein be my guess but i don't like it at all let me know in the comments if you guys have tried this or other flavors maybe that are better uh, zero out of ten next up is the beyond raw lit energy drink so I am honestly pretty darn excited about this. You guys know that I use the Beyond Raw BCAA powder post-workout. I mix it up with water. I've shown it several times here on my channel. I'll actually insert a picture here and link the powder that I use down below. I love it. It has really clean ingredients for BCAAs. It works really well. It tastes really good. So I have high hopes for this. So this is the Zero Sugar Snow Cone. And it has 250 milligrams of caffeine. So that's the most caffeine so far. L-citroline, three grams of that, 3.2 grams of beta al alanine, and 100 grams of Nerofactor. I don't know what any of that means. But this can has a total of 20 calories, so not bad at all. And looking at the ingredients, it does have natural and artificial flavors and sucralose and blue dye number one. Not a fan of those ingredients, but I'm excited to try this. So again, this would be a good pre or post workout. The extra bit of caffeine, that 250 milligrams would be great pre-workout. So yeah, let's give it a shot. I'm excited because like I said, I do like a lot of the Beyond Raw BCAAs. In fact, every single flavor I've tried has been really good. So cheers. Pretty good. Now, it doesn't give me snow cone vibes. I don't really know what snow cone is supposed to taste like, but it doesn't give me that. It's more sweet, and I would say like sweet tarty tasting, if that makes sense. Kind of that sweet and tart mixed into one. It tastes really good, but it's not snow cone. So I haven't tried any of the other flavors. Maybe they're a little bit more what they say that they are on the can. I don't know that I would buy this again. And to be honest with you, because it has so many questionable ingredients, I probably would just stick with my BCAA powder. Not to mention it's a lot less expensive. These energy drinks, you guys, were anywhere from like 2 to $5 a can. So that's a little bit pricey. And for it not to taste the greatest, yeah, I would say based on ingredients and taste, I would probably give this six out of 10. Next up is the Alani New Energy in Rainbow Candy. This is definitely all the rage, not only in the WW community, but just overall, everyone is all about Alani New. In fact, the gentleman at GNC said people come in and buy this by the case. I've honestly never tried it. He said the Rainbow Candy is a really popular flavor. That's why I got it. But let's take a look at this. And by the way, these are expensive too. Uh, 10 calories for the entire can. So 200 milligrams of caffeine. And it's 10 calories for the can, so zero points again. It has a laundry list of ingredients, but what I'm noticing offhand is natural and artificial flavors. And it's actually sweetened with both sucralose and erythritol. So I'm not sure why they just didn't go with erythritol, which is honestly a better sweetener. Not even great, but better than sucralose. But I will say that I'm happy that it, the coloring of this is from vegetables instead of from dye. So that's a big win. I'm excited for this rainbow candy. I heard it's like Skittles vibes. So I'm actually pretty excited about this. I've been looking for a better option for an energy drink. None of these, in my opinion, have great ingredients, but I like that this doesn't have any color dye. So I'll give Alani a thumbs up for that. So let's try it. Cheers. Delicious. Oh my gosh. This is really good. I completely get rainbow candy. I completely get the Skittles vibes from this. Oh, this is really, really delicious. Mmm. Okay. Okay. I see the hype. I wish that it didn't have natural and artificial flavors and I wish that it didn't have sucralose, but it tastes really good. And considering all of these drinks so far have had not so great ingredients, flavor wise, this is a 10 out of 10. Absolutely, this is probably the best tasting one that I've had so far besides the, besides this one, which isn't even an energy drink. This is by far the best tasting that I've tried so far. Mm. Good job on the taste, Alani New, 10 out of 10. And last but not least, isn't an energy drink, but it's a shake. So you guys know I am not a fan of Premier Protein because number one, it has carrageenan and I don't 
eat or drink anything with carrageenan because it's extremely inflammatory. Plus it has literally like 30 million ingredients. I'm not a fan. I actually would never, in my opinion, for me, drink Premier Protein. I love Iconic Protein, which you guys know. It is linked down below with a discount if you're interested. But I've heard all about this Lean Shake 25. This is actually GNC's brand. So he told me to try it. He said he likes it best of all the protein shakes that he's tried. He also was a fan of Iconic ingredient-wise and taste-wise. But he said this one is right up there with his favorite so this is coconut and caramel so it's the girl scouts flavor which sounds really good 170 calories points will be here on the screen 25 grams of protein which i like two grams of sugar it is gluten and lactose free let's look at these ingredients all right i'm breaking out the flashlight again so right away i see sunflower safflower and or canola oil no bueno those are not good oils they're heavily processed with hexane no and then I see maltodextrin. No, that's another ingredient I really honestly try to avoid. Let's see. I think that's about it that I see ingredient. Oh, natural and art. Okay. It gets worse. Natural and artificial flavors and caramel coloring. I do not consume caramel coloring. That is an artificial dye that is used to color things brown, such as diet drinks or cola drinks in general, not just diet, but diet or regular cola drinks. Do not love that at all. And that's it. Oh, dun, dun, dun. The last ingredient is carrageenan. So with all of that being said, I absolutely positively would never buy this. I would never consume this, but we're going to try it for the sake of this video. And for those of you that like it, now let me tell you again, I want to say no food is bad and no food is good. There are certain ingredients that I personally choose not to consume, most of which are in here. All right, shaking her up. Now, the flavor sounds delicious. Oh, the ingredients, they're killing me. Ugh. It smells kind of weird. Not gonna lie. All right, here we go. Cheers. Meh, it's okay. I will say the taste is better than Premier. I find Premier not to taste very good. This, in my opinion, it doesn't have a lot of taste to begin with. This one definitely has more flavor. So I do get the coconut caramel Girl Scout cookie vibe from it. It's not great. It kind of has a weird aftertaste. It leaves a bit of a film on your tongue, similar to Premier, even Iconic. Any type of protein shake is going to do that. I don't know. I would say if I had to choose between the two equally ingredients, they're about the same. Flavor-wise, I would pick this over Premier. I think this is less expensive as well. I honestly can't remember. I want to say like $3 for this shake. But just for me, I would not repurchase. But I think if you are a shake person and you like to have your protein coffee in the morning, definitely try this. I find it to have a lot more flavor and be sweeter. So if you want a little more flavor and a little sweeter in your protein coffee, this would definitely be a good option. All right, so that's it for drinks. Whew, I have had a lot of energy drinks, so it's probably going to get a little bit crazy in this video, but maybe to fill my stomach with food instead of energy drinks, let's try some popular snacks. So we're going to start with like the chip options that I found. Now I grabbed two. I will say that the GNC I visited was pretty low in stock. He said that they were having a hard time. I'm assuming just because of COVID getting a lot of their snacks and drinks. So he did recommend these. So I'm excited to try these. These are the I1 Organics Protein Sticks in the flavor sweet or I'm sorry, spicy, sweet, pepper. I asked him how spicy these were because I'm a wimp and he said these are not bad. There was another flavor, a jalapeno, I believe. This has 10 grams of protein and five grams of fiber. The entire bag is 180 calories. I love that these are organic, so I'll give you them a high five for that. Kosher and vegan, soy-free, non-GMO, and gluten-free. Again, 180 calories. I'll pop points right here for you guys for the bag. But when I'm taking a look at the ingredients, I'm seeing the oils I don't love, the sunflower, safflower oils. I see cane sugar, which I don't eliminate anything from my diet, including cane sugar, but it doesn't look like there's very much. Total sugars are two grams, less than one gram of added sugar. So we're just gonna not worry about that. That's not even enough to matter. And lastly, I do see some natural flavors. So the oil and the natural flavors, I don't love. I will also say that most flavored things, drinks, snacks, are gonna have natural flavors. So 
if that was the only ingredient, I wouldn't be as like meh about it, but I don't love the oils that are in here either. So this is what they look like. So to me, they look like the like Cheetos, the curls. And again, these are the spicy sweet pepper. So let's give them a shot. Woo, mama, those are spicy. Okay, that guy. That GNC lied to me or I'm literally more wimpy when it comes to spice. Woo, mama, these are spicy. So if you are a spicy fan, you are going to love these. I will tell you, they taste really, really good. I don't taste any protein, which is huge on protein snacks sometimes. My mouth is still on fire. Sometimes they have that like weird proteiny taste. I'm not a fan of that. So overall taste is really good. I think the points are decent because you get quite a few in the bag, but girl, these are spicy. So if you are a spicy fan, you're gonna love these. He also said that the jalapeno ones are even spicier. Yeah, 10 grams of protein, five grams of fiber. I would say ingredient wise, taste wise, they do taste good, they're just spicy. I would give these like a seven out of 10. Next up are Quest chips. So these are new and improved. I have heard really good things about these new and improved Quest chips. Now I have not had Quest chips in I don't know how long. The last ones I had were the taco ones, which I think are really, really good. But let's take a look. 140 calories for the bag with 19 grams of protein. So they are using high oleic sunflower oil, which is definitely several steps up from regular sunflower oil. So way to go Quest. Still not the best oil, but better than just regular sunflower oil. This does have natural flavors, which is to be expected just because it is uh, a flavored item. The one ingredient in here that I absolutely do not love is that it has yeast extract. So yeast extract is another name for MSG. MSG is another ingredient I choose not to eat. So because this has yeast extract in it, I would not repurchase. And I will tell you one more thing about yeast extract MSG is that it's put into foods because it makes us crave them. So it's an ingredient that makes us want more. So that's why foods will put those in there. So keep an eye out for yeast extract because it's the exact same thing as MSG. So I would say ingredients on here aren't terrible. There is a ton of them. Like there is literally a ton. There's a ton of ingredients on this label, but let's still dig in. Let's try them. Let's see if they're better than the ones I remember because I don't think I like the old version. So here is what they look like. This bag, you guys, is only this full. So there's a lot of air, but let's try them. This is the sour cream and onion. Uh -uh. I don't like them. Ugh, no, they're cardboardy. They taste like cardboard with sour cream and onion flavoring. Uh-uh. Sorry, Quest. I dislike these as much as the old version of these chips. No. Great that there's 19 grams of protein in them, but for, they're a no for me. I would give them, based on ingredients, and these are pricey too, and the taste, the cardboardy taste of these, I would give these four out of 10. All right, moving on to bars, I have five bars, I believe. First is the lean bar. So this is GNC's protein bar. So this is their brand of protein bar. This is in chocolate chip flavor. This is 170 calories, 15 grams of protein, not bad, seven grams of fiber and gluten free. I'm breaking out my flashlight again. There is a ton of ingredients in these bars, a ton. So right away I see palm oil, which is the worst of the worst when it comes to oils. It is the most heavily processed oil with hexane. So I don't eat palm oil at all. The only palm oil you ever want to see slash eat if you are concerned about the oils you're putting in your body is red palm oil. And you're not going to find that in very many foods because it's extremely expensive. This one just has regular palm oil. Let's see, it has dextrin, dextrose, which is another term for sugar. I also see natural flavor, of course, and it is sweetened with sucralose. So for the laundry list of ingredients, I guess that's not too bad for that many of them. Ooh, this is interesting. So this gives me granola bar vibes. So you can see that it's more of a granola bar with a chocolate base and some chocolate chips on top. Interesting. Let's try it. 
Cheers. Negative. Yuck. It's hard as a rock. For one, it is not sweet at all. No, it just tastes weird. It tastes like I ate a big scoop of all-purpose flour. That's what it reminds me of. It has zero taste. The texture is fine. I don't get any chocolate from the base on the bottom or the chocolate chips. It's literally hard. No, no go for me. No go. I would rate this like one out of 10. Next up is a bar I'm actually kind of excited about. This is the Vital Proteins Collagen Bar in chocolate, almond, and sea salt. Now, you know that I put the Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides in my coffee every morning. It's my go-to. I love it, but I've never tried their bars. So this has 10 grams of collagen, which is great. 14 grams of protein, which is amazing because you're getting the protein and the collagen two grams of sugar and five grams of fiber. It also says made with Himalayan pink sea salt, MCTs and chocolate chips. 170 calories for the bar. So for ingredients right away, I love that it is sweetened with allulose. So allulose is a naturally occurring sugar that comes from figs and raisins. So it's a great sugar alternative. It does not affect your blood sugar like a lot of the other even sugar alternatives do. So I love that that's in here. I also love that this is organic coconut sugar is the other sweetener organic coconut sugar is the best option for sugar it also has mct oil powder almond butter himalayan pink sea salt and rosemary extract okay so far ingredient wise 10 out of 10 this is one bar that i would purchase and consume on a regular basis based on the ingredients alone so again this is the chocolate almond and sea salt let's take a look at this Ooh, it looks good so there's your bar so to me it gives me like a chewy vibe it's got some chocolate chips in there you can see all the chocolate let's give it a try cheers all right so immediately i get the feel of the og power bars that same texture of the power bars it's good it's chewy it's definitely chewy kind of like caramel like the chewiness that you would get in caramel. I definitely taste the chocolate. I love the kind of crunchy of the chocolate chips. It is not very sweet, which is kind of to be expected when you're using coconut sugar and allulose because they're not sickening sweet like a lot of the other sugars and sugar alternatives like sucralose or Splenda. So it's not overly sweet. I get that little hint of salt. It's good. I would say that the ingredients are 10 out of 10, but I would say that the taste is like seven out of 10. But if you're going to choose a protein bar, you're gonna get the benefit of collagen and good ingredients. I would definitely buy this again. I would be very interested in trying some of the other flavors. So I would say taste seven out of 10, ingredients 10 out of 10. I have heard a ton of good things about the Power Crunch Bar. In fact, my best friend used to eat these, which I'm assuming she still does all the time. So I'm pretty excited to try this. I've never tried these bars. I know, who am I? So this is the Peanut Butter Cream. It has 13 grams of protein, five grams of sugar. Now I know that these are a little hefty in points or I have been told. It is 200 calories for the bar. What I know about these bars is that the texture is like like a cream filled cookie. So those really good like strawberry chocolate and vanilla cookies with the cream in the middle. That's what I've been told that this is like. So I'm pretty excited about that. So immediately when I look at the ingredients, I see palm oil actually listed twice. Once in the peanuts in the bar and then in the bar itself. So not a fan of that. I see fructose, which is another term for sugar, maltodextrin, not a fan of that, natural flavors, and I also see stevia leaf extract. So quite a few ingredients that I'm not a huge fan of. This better be really good for the points because the ingredients alone, I probably wouldn't purchase this bar just based on those ingredients. So here's what it looks like. It's definitely that layered cookies with the cream in the middle but it's fully covered in like a white chocolatey type of coating maybe it's a peanut butter coating peanut butter cream but that's where a lot of the palm oil is i bet but still let's try it smells really good and peanutty cheers it's okay I don't think it's great. Again, it's not very sweet, which is interesting because the maltodextrin and the fructose, you would think that this would be sweet. Plus it has five grams of sugar. 
It's not very sweet. I definitely taste the peanut butter. That comes front foremost. Number one thing I taste is the peanut butter. I do enjoy that crunchy of the cookie. I think that that's really good. Here's kind of what the inside of it looks like. It's definitely that whole cookie and cream wafer vibe. But based on the ingredients and the taste, I don't think it's that great. I'm sorry for those of you that love the Power Crunch bar. Feel free to eat it. We all have different tastes, of course. But I would rate this six out of 10. Next is another bar that I have heard tons of good things about, and that is the No Cow Protein Bar. So this is a non-dairy bar, hence the name No Cow. This is the Blueberry Cobbler flavor. It has 22 grams of protein, which is amazing, and only one gram of sugar, 190 calories, and a pretty short ingredient list. So let's see if there's anything on this ingredient list that I'm not a fan of. Flashlight in hand. Let's see, it's pea protein, so that's great. So again, because it is non-dairy, there's no whey protein. So pea protein is a good option. I do see palm oil with two stars next to it, which says that it's sustainably sourced. It doesn't matter, it's still palm oil. So not a big fan of that. I see natural flavors, and it is the sweetener in this is a blend of erythritol, monk fruit, and stevia extract. So I like that it is those in sweeteners versus sucralose so here's what the bar looks like pretty blase for a bar it's pretty thick but there's no prettiness there's nothing to this bar so it smells fruity but hence blueberry cobbler so let's try it cheers no no Oh, it's like sand. Ugh. Okay, first of all, it is the fakest, most artificial blueberry flavor ever. But the worst part is, is it turns literally to like sand in your mouth. So this bar, see how it's like grainy? Ugh. It literally turns to sand in your mouth. No. That's a no for me, a uh, 100% no, zero out of 10. I think the flavor is horrible. I think the ingredients aren't great. I hate that it turns to sand in my mouth. No, I would definitely not buy this again. I'm drinking some water. Get that sandiness out of my mouth. No cow bar, because we are going to try the Alani New Fit Snack in the munchies flavor. Now, even my best friend reached out to me and she said, I know you aren't gonna like the ingredients, so. We'll preface it with that, but she says that these bars are amazing. I know these are all the rage in WW, and again, these were not in stock at GNC, so I actually ordered an entire box from the Alani New website, so they better be good because I have a whole box in my pantry. So this, again, is the Munchies Bar. It's 170 calories. I know for a fact it's five smart points. There is 16, 18, 18 grams of protein, so that's great but she already prefaced that the ingredients aren't good, so let's take a look. So I see, so right away I see palm kernel oil, which is the worst of the worst as the oil used, dextrose syrup, which is basically sugar syrup, and then there's malitol. So malitol, if you eat too much of it, you spend a lot of time in the bathroom. So I probably wouldn't consume more than one of these in a day, or maybe not even every single day, if you're sensitive to malitol. Uh, let's see, I see canola oil. So there's palm oil and canola oil, natural flavor and sucralose. It does say colored with paprika. So I do like that, that the coloring isn't artificial, but holy moly, there's a lot, a lot of ingredients in this bar that I am not a fan of. But I always say everything in moderation. And if it's delicious, I could see myself having this every once in a while. So let's break into it. Uh, I This is the only flavor I've ever purchased. This is my first time trying it. Ooh, it's pretty. So here is what the bar looks like. It's good size. So that's it in relation to my hand. It is fully covered in chocolate. It's got these little like nubs on top. They look like cookie pieces and then that drizzle. So let's try. The famous Alani New Munchies Bar. Cheers. Okay, I see what all the rage is about. This is so good. 
It's so good. This is a candy bar. This literally tastes like I'm eating a candy bar. I taste caramel, I taste chocolate, I taste salty, I taste pretzels. Wow. This is really good. <laughs> Sadly, it doesn't have the best ingredients, which bums me out. I wish it was a cleaner bar, but okay. You know my 90-10, 90% clean food, 10% foods I love. This falls in the 10% foods I love. I would absolutely buy these again. I would eat these, not every day, but I would eat these sparingly because it's truly, really, really delicious. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for taste. Not the best ingredients, like five out of 10 for the ingredients, but I would probably buy these again, like I said, and I would eat them every so often. If you want something sweet, if you're craving something sweet, this would be great. And you're gonna get 18 grams of protein. So way to go, Alani New. I am impressed not only with your energy drink, but also with your bars. So I see what the hype is about. So now that I'm completely hyped up on energy drinks and full from protein bars, that was a super fun video. I would totally be down to doing another one of these. Definitely leave down in the comments some suggestions if you want some more taste test videos, what I should taste test. Give me all the ideas because this was really, really fun. And it was nice to try these things and really give you my honest opinion on what I would buy, what I wouldn't buy, what I would repurchase. So there were some fails. There were definitely some fails, but there were some big wins too today. So I'm excited that I was able to try all these things and now I know what to pick up the next time I'm at GNC. So again, if you are new, make sure you're subscribed. I'd love for you to stick around, join my YouTube friends and family, hit the little bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. Give this video a thumbs up if you loved this taste test. That way I know if we should do more of these in the future. Again, don't forget to check out the description box for all of my nutrition coaching options as well as discount codes and links to my tried and true favorite things and the link to head over and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you over there as well. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me. Let's have a little fun with this video because it's probably a really long one. If you made it all the way through and you are seeing this right now, down in the comments, leave the muscle emoji. If you are on a computer or do not have emojis, type the word muscle and I'll know that you made it to the end of this video. Thank you guys again so much. This was so fun. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.